This day, 11 years ago, Need for Speed Most Wanted was released, marking it one of the greatest games in racing history, I believe. Um, it was unreal. The customization, the campaign to it was all perfect. It was one of few free roam open map games, and it did that with perfection. Being as old as it was, it still marks one of the top games in racing today. And I don't think it'll get beaten very closely. Forza, in my opinion, is the closest game and probably one of the best games to replicate it or to be a main competitor. So I thought being its 11th anniversary of uh, Most Wanted, I'd jump on Forza and bring you guys a bit of gameplay since I haven't been on here in a while. So this is my car. It's got way too much power for its own good. It's really only used for driving to and from each point to do races in other cars and stuff. It's just a bit of fun, something different. I enjoy driving it, so anyone that no anyone that has Forza will know what it's like just to have a fully fully worked car out there that is kinda completely useless in any way possible except for the fact that it goes really not really fast but it um, just has way too much power than it can actually physically handle. So, we're going to do whatever race this is. Um, yeah, I'm not very far through through this um, game, as you can tell. Toyota Crawler. Mm, is that the one that I'm currently driving? Hope not. This could be interesting if it is. It could be a very hard race. <laughs> no, it's not. So, I've got a shitty little crawler. As you can tell, I'm not far through this at all. I've been way too busy with all the other games, so... Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I can't say I've really done much racing games um, at all. I really only play the Forzas. That's about it. Not even the normal Forzas. Only like Forza Horizon. And yeah, pretty much all of them. That's the only racing car games I play. But hopefully we can have a bit of fun. Knock a few people out and play really dirty. It's the best way to do it. Everybody does it. Oh, this Forza gets me every time. It doesn't go like 3, 2, 1, go. It just goes go. And you sit there back at the start waiting for everyone. And they all just start taking off and you're stuck there on your own. It's ridiculous. This little Corolla is sick. No wonder I bought it. Maybe I want it. <laughs> Those cars are hilarious. So, I drive manual, um, always have and always will, just makes the game fun, I kind of find it real repetitive and boring if you're not shifting through gears or anything, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. The amount of cars in this game is crazy though, like, all the time you see new ones. And I think they just brought out a DLC, um, yeah, I probably won't be getting the DLC, but I think a lot of people will. And it will be really good, I can tell, because Forza haven't really done DLCs before. They normally just bring it all out with the game or as add-ons to the game. So I suppose they're joining the bandwagon like everyone else is and making people pay for content, which is shit. But that's the world we're in, so... Yeah, they're bringing out or have just brought out a DLC. And so, yeah, let me know if you get it, if it's any good, whether I should actually get it or not. Uh, but I'll probably focus on just beating the game before I go get any DLCs for it. Wow, this car's so slow compared to my other one. We're in like 4th gear max in 160, I reckon. Yeah, so, since all games now are being remastered, all the old school ones that everybody loved, hopefully they do do uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted Remastered. That'd be sweet. I really hope they do. Um... If they do, I'll definitely get it. I'll definitely... Should change gears. Um, we'll definitely put up a heap of videos of it. Show you beating all the main top 15... Um, what are they called? So blacklist? I think it's Blacklist. Blacklist competitors. And working my way to number one. So if that does come out again, um, you'll definitely see that. And I'll definitely have footage up on it. Well, I have to admit, this is the most thrilling race that I have ever been in. It is sweet. 
I don't even have it on easy. I've like upped the difficulty too, because in um, Forza, if you don't have it, um, if you win by a, like a large margin all the time, it says, um, do you want to up your difficulty and make it a bit more difficult? Um, so I did that, and it was really hard last time I was playing, but I don't know whether my Tirana's just a boss, or maybe if I hang a massive drift. Little drift. <laughs> There's not enough power in the wheels to spin the tires. Oh. There we go. Alright, now we got some competition. Now we don't. I don't know what race line he's running, but they're shit. Man, this thing needs a lot more power. Let me know if any of you bet the game. I'd like to drop you a comment down how far through the game. It does tell you percentage in the pause menu. So let me know how far through you all are, whether you are real hardcore fours of players and have absolutely dominated the game like in the first couple of weeks. Um, whether you are going to get all the signs and all the check markers and speed traps and all that sort of stuff. Or if you're just out there to play the campaign and enjoy it. Or like me, just want to jump on and just muck around, have a few races here and there. It's something I might play when a couple of mates come over, jump in. You can do multiplayer campaign. Jump in, do something like that. Personally, I reckon it's a great game for two-player. That's why one of the reasons why I got it. Um, other reasons is because I like the Forzas. The open free roam games with the mad customization and the ability to build drift cars is really good. I think all games should do that if you're a race game. I really hate the original Forzas on the tracks. So, yeah, not my... Championship win, boss. Apparently that was the last championship, last race in the championship. Sweet. <laughs> Ooh, come on, with the McLaren. 35 grand. <sighs> what else did we get? What else did we get? Nothing. We got nothing else. Hey Mason. Ooh. I met a fan last night. Said 50 of his friends were coming up from Sydney. I think we might need to expand again. Righto, so... I got that at level 5. Just to show you what I'm up to. And I've got that I think I need to expand that now that's where I am level one and I don't think I've even done that one yeah I haven't even opened that one so I'm kind of just going bit by bit getting them all done it like each individually before I go to the next one but that's how I play so yeah I think I'm gonna end it at that you saw my really boring plane race and but the main thing about this video was to get out that um, need for speed most wanted is 11 years old today and still king of the racing car game world. So, well done Need for Speed, and hopefully you get remastered soon. That would be unreal. So, give a thumbs up if you want to see Need for Speed remastered, and if you want to see some more videos of Forza. Thanks guys for watching, I'll catch you later.